Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Nemeth. I am a periodontist in Southfield, Michigan, and I wanted to talk about a very interesting case that uh, I saw yesterday. This woman, eight or nine months ago, had a crown put on a lower molar tooth. After that, that tooth started to hurt. About three months later, she began to get a headache, a very bad headache on the right side of her head, which is the same side that the tooth was on that had the crown. She went to the hospital, they did a CT scan, and there was nothing definitive they could come up with. She continued to have the headache, and she went back three days later for a MRI. The MRI revealed a brain abscess. The brain abscess was drained, her head was shaved, they drained the brain abscess, put her on heavy antibiotics, took a culture of the of the bacteria from the brain abscess. The culture revealed that the brain abscess was caused by an infected tooth. After they drained and treated the brain abscess, one week later she actually had a stroke. The surgeon said you should have had that tooth out a long time ago, but because that tooth was infected and it wasn't treated, the woman ended up with an actual brain abscess which then led to a stroke and she was on heavy antibiotics for a long period of time. Fortunately, she kept very accurate records of exactly what happens and we know exactly what organisms were present in the abscess because I have a record of that that she showed me. If you have an infection in your mouth, those bacteria don't just stay there. I mean, they're connected to your whole body. So those bacteria get into your bloodstream. They travel throughout your whole body. And in this case, they got through the brain blood barrier, ended up in the brain, causing an actual abscess. They travel throughout your body. They can affect every part of your body including your brain and they also now think that organisms from your mouth can be partially and sometimes initiating Alzheimer's disease. Finally about two weeks ago the tooth was finally extracted. When they extracted the tooth she thought she should use a strong mouthwash like hydrogen peroxide and Listerine to keep the area clean and healthy while it was healing. So she was using hydrogen peroxide, undiluted, straight hydrogen peroxide. And I said, well, how often are you using this? Basically, she was using strong, undiluted hydrogen peroxide, probably five, six, or seven times a day. And from that, she developed what's called black, hairy tongue. The hydrogen peroxide killed the good bacteria and allowed fungus or yeast to then overgrow the tongue. Of course, we told her to cut back on that. At any rate, it's a, it's a very interesting and sad story. This is one of the few cases where I've actually seen and seen documented a case of a brain abscess from an infected tooth. So once again, if your mouth is not healthy, you cannot be as healthy as you could be. Healthy mouth, you will have a healthier body. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, we're going to talk more about this case in the future. We'd love to hear from you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a good day. Restore your smile and your health. Visit drnemeth.com to schedule your appointment today.